In this lesson, we are going to look at how to solve linear equations, but where we also have brackets, okay? And I'm going to show you how to handle that. So I like to always have some action steps that we need to follow, right? So with your steps, whenever there's a bracket, so step one is going to be, uh, let's get rid of the bracket. Get rid of the bracket. Okay, so let's go do that. Um, so the way that this works is you take this negative five and you're just gonna multiply it into everything that is inside that bracket. So that would give you negative five minus 25a. And then on the other side, we just have that over there. And then from the previous lesson, we can now remember the steps of what to do when you have something like this. And so I've summarized the previous steps that we had in that previous lesson. So what we did was we took all variables to one side. Okay, so remember the variables are the things with the letters. So that would be this one and this one. So those all need to go to either the right-hand side or the left-hand side of the equal sign. It doesn't matter, it's completely up to you. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the letters or the variables to the right-hand side. So I'm gonna move this one over to the right-hand side, like that. And then all of the numbers, okay, so the numbers will be this one and this one. I'm gonna take all of those to the left. So this minus five is already on the left, so we're just gonna need to move this negative 32 like that. So let's do that. So we start off with whatever we have on the left hand side. So this negative five is already there. So we'll just write that one down. And then this negative 32, we're going to bring it over. And then remember what we said in the previous lesson, when you take something to the other side, then you must switch the sign. So when we take this negative 32 over to the other side, then that's going to end up becoming a positive 32. And then on the right hand side, what do we already have there? Well, the 2a is already there, so we'll write that one down like that. And then this negative 25 is now going to be taken to the right hand side. But remember that when you take it to the other side, the sign switches. So it's going to become plus 25a. What we, oh no, sorry, that was step one complete. Now step two, combine. So combine everything. So minus five plus 32 is 27. And then 2a plus 25a is 27a. And then if you can remember from the previous lesson, what we would do in a situation like this is that you would then divide this by 27 because you want these two to cancel out so that you can get this a by itself. But then we also have to do the same on the other side. And then remember that this cancels out. And then if you divide these two, 27 divided by 27, that's just going to give us 1. And so the final answer would be A is equal to 1. Here is the next example. So I'm not going to write down all the steps now because I do believe that you guys are starting to get a very good idea of how this all works. So we see that there is a bracket, right? So our first step is going to be to get rid of the bracket. So let's just leave everything else as it is. So we say 27 minus 8x. Now, some students get a bit confused about what we have to do with this minus. They're like, Kevin, what is that? Remember guys, that that is actually a minus one. So what we'll do now is we'll multiply that into the bracket like that. And so that's going to become minus 1x, or you can just say minus x if you want. And then minus 1 multiplied by 1 is going to become minus 1. Now we are at the place where we've seen, well, this is the place that we've um, arrived at many times now. So by now you guys are probably becoming quite good at knowing what to do next. So this is the part where you look for the variables. So the variables are the ones with the letters. And we need to take all of them to one side. And remember, it doesn't matter what side you choose. I'm going to put all the letters on the right hand side. So that means that this one is going to have to move over to the right hand side. I'm also then going to have to take all of the numbers and put them on the left hand side. So that means that this one, which is currently on the right hand side, that one's going to have to move over to the left hand side like that. 
So now when I go into my next step, I'm gonna start off on the left-hand side. So what do I already have on the left? Well, this 27 is already there, so nothing's gonna happen to that one, so I'm just gonna write that one down. And then this minus one is going to move over, okay, to the other side. And remember what we've, we've said many times, when you move something over the equal sign, the sign changes. So it's gonna become plus one. Then on the right-hand side, this negative 1x is already there, so we're just going to put it there over there. And then this minus 8x is going to move over, and it's going to become a positive, because it's currently a negative, but when it goes over the equal sign, the sign changes. We are now at the point where we have to combine. So we're going to take the 27 and the 1, combine it to become 28, and then the negative x and the 8x, we're going to combine to become 7x. I'm going to start moving a bit faster now because we've done these types of, um, you guys are quite familiar with these parts now. So what I'm going to do is then divide by 7 on both sides because then we know that this part here would cancel. And so we end up with x equals, now 28 divided by 7 is 4. With this question, so notice that we see there is a bracket over here. So what happens is that this five, we well remember what we've said is that we need to get rid of the brackets. So this five is gonna multiply into the bracket like that. And so that's gonna end up giving us negative 30 X plus 20. And then on the other side, we're just gonna leave that as it is. And now at this step, you need to choose whether you want to put all the variables on the left-hand side or whether you want to put them on the right-hand side. And that choice is completely up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the variables. So remember, the variables are the ones with letters. We're going to put all of those on the... I'm going to, I'm going to choose to put them all on the right-hand side. So that means that this negative 30 or negative 30x is going to move over to the right. And then we'll have to take all of the numbers to the left-hand side. So that means that this one over here is going to have to move over to the left. Let me do that in a different color. So this number here is going to have to move over to the left. And so let's go ahead. And so we'll start off by writing what's on the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, there's still this 20, which hasn't, nothing's happened to that one. And then this negative 24 is going to come over to become plus 24. And then, because remember, when you move something over, the sign changes. And then on the right-hand side, we have a minus 8x. And then we're going to move this minus 30 over to the other side, where it will become a positive 30x. Now we can simply combine. So 20 plus 24 is 44. And then minus 8x plus 30x is going to be 22x. And so what we do now is we want to get x by itself, so we divide by 22 on this side, but then we also divide by 22 on that side, and so x would be equal to 44 divided by 22, because remember this part cancels, so the 44 divided by 22 would be 2. So the first thing we notice with this example is that there is a bracket, and so we want to get rid of that, so we just leave everything else as it is for now, and now what we'll do is we'll take this 5 and we'll multiply it into the bracket. And so that's going to become 4 plus 5. So let me write that a bit better. And then minus 30p. And so what we now do is we need to put all the variables on one side, so all the letters on one side, and then all the numbers on the other side. For this one, I'm going to put all the variables, which is these two over here, I'm going to put all of them on the left. So that means that this one is going to have to move. And then that means all the numbers are going to have to go to the right. And so this minus 19 needs to move to the right-hand side. And so let's start. So on the left-hand side, we still have the minus 2p. And then this minus 30p is going to come and join it, but it's going to change to a positive 30p. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to have the 4 plus the 5, which, has already, which is already there. And then this minus 19 is going to move over to the right-hand side, where it's going to end up becoming a positive. So that'll become positive 19. 
Now we can simply combine. So this is going to be minus 2p plus 30p, which is then going to be 28p. And then on the right hand side, you're going to end up with 4 plus 5, which is 9, plus 19, which is 28. To then get p by itself, you're going to have to divide by 28 on this side, and then you're going to also have to divide by 28 on this side, and then these would cancel. And so you're going to end up with p equals to 28 divided by 28, which is 1. The first thing you should identify here is that this example has a bracket. So once again, the first step we want to do is get rid of the bracket. So we're just going to say minus 14 minus 8n equals. Now you're going to take this minus 2 and you're going to multiply it in to the bracket. So that's going to give us negative 2n minus 6 minus 8. Now we put all the variables, which are the letters, on one side. And then we put all the numbers on another side or on the other side. So I'm going to put all the variables, which is this one and this one, I'm going to put those variables on the right hand side. So that means that this one is going to have to move to that side. And then I'm going to take all the numbers, which is these three over here, and I'm going to make sure that all of them are on the left hand side. So that means that this minus six is going to move and this minus eight is also going to have to move. So we start off on the left hand side. So what is already on the left hand side? Well, the minus 14 is nothing's going to happen to the minus 14. We're not going to move that to the right. or to, We're just going to leave it as it is. And then this minus 6 is going to come over and join it. So it's going to become a plus 6. And then this minus 8 is going to come over and join it and become a plus 8. Then on the right hand side, we're going to have minus 2n because that's already there. And then we're going to take this minus 8n and we're going to move it to the other, we're going to take it over where it will become a positive 8n. Now on the left hand side, we can just combine all of this. And if you had to combine all of those numbers, you would end up with zero. And then on the right hand side, if you had to combine all of this, you would end up with 6n. Now, don't panic, just do what we've done with all of the previous questions. What you now do is you try to get this n by itself. How do we do that? By dividing by whatever this number is. So we divide by six, and then you do the same on the other side. And so this part here would cancel out, and so you end up with n equals two, and then zero divided by six is just zero. And there's nothing wrong with getting an answer of zero. Um, that's absolutely fine.